We're doing the edge of a belt right now on the Cobra MP burnisher. This is Dan who's doing the uh, burnishing right now. The first step we're using gum tragicinth on a three layer belt to seal it. The neat thing is it's got multiple size openings in the cones. You can choose whichever slot works best. Richard Loy makes the burnishing uh, discs. He's an excellent craftsman. Next step, he's going to put some black dye on it, pull it through a rag, and then polish it up again. For those that don't know, one side of this has a sanding disc, and you can put on whatever grit you need. comes with a medium fine grit right now from the factory. This is what it looks like standing up. Stands about three and a half feet tall. And it has a variable speed control here that you can set it. We were operating it on the slower speed, which is, I don't know, about 2,000 RPM. Full speed is 3,400. And uh, want to know who's talking? This is me, Wiz. Howdy. I'm going to pause this right now and come back on when it's ready for the black slicking. Alright, we're back now. The black uh, edge dye has been applied and now Dan is going to slick it up and polish that right in. The gum helps set the uh, fibers with an initial setting and slicking. Phoebeing Black Edge Dye does a great job of really sealing it in. Nice and shiny that is. That's awesome. If it wasn't for this, we'd be pulling through a black jeans rag for an hour. Quit telling your secrets. <laughs> oh yeah. That's looking nice. This particular belt that we're taking care of here is got a loom beaded center piece between layers of bridal leather that have been split down to the thickness we want and then a zipper on the back to make it a money belt. So here's what we've got. There's the back side with the money belt. The front side with the beads, the cutout. All together that thing's almost a quarter inch thick. 
somewhere between 12, 14, 15 ounces. Getting a little thinner down on this end here, but not too bad. This ought to last him a lifetime, maybe two, you never know. Depends how he treats it. Okay, thanks a lot, folks. Thanks to Cobra Steve for getting such a device produced. Time saver for us pros.